What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Realistic Crew Mode. It's episode number 39. Man, what a comeback victory in our last game in the last episode against Arsenal today. It's treble hunting time. Never mind trophy hunting, it's treble hunting time. Yet nice run for Liverpool today. Uh, returning with the FA Cup last 16 away in Essex against Colchester United. That should be a banker there against the EFL side. Uh, the second leg of our Champions League last 16 where we're freeing it up on Real Sociedad and should be going through to the quarterfinals. Touch wood, fingers crossed. If we do, we'll have to draw for that as well and more big games in the Premier League, right? As you can see, we're topped by four points with 13 to go. Destiny is in our own hands. Yep, we are treble hunting today. So, loads to get through. First is indeed Spurs having a poor season by their standards, but a chance to possibly, possibly go seven points clear. Let's go do it. Come on, Liverpool. Obviously, unfortunately, the win did come at a cost. Jack Clark's injury, the broken toe, the classic career mo broken toe. That's him now done for the season. So, that is... Ooh. Play advantage of these records. Mackenzie's got back to his feet. Fair play. Um, hold on. Ben, good save by Venom and turn behind for a corner. Um, he he has been instrumental in this recent run. Jack Clark really picked up his form after a uh, after a return to form. Red hot start. And that was great from Mackenzie getting back to his feet so quick there. Um, he's been brilliant in this run. One of our players this season. And now done for the campaign. It's, it's going to be very hard now to win all three without a 90 overall winger, obviously. And win that, win that, win that. He's been brilliant on Kulisevsky today. And he's a Diaz. Ben Doge stepping in. Denied by the Italian and turned behind for a corner. I don't think we don't need to win a treble. The board said to us this season, much to my surprise, top four will do. I was like, why didn't you give me that objective last season? <laughs> you know, it was the first year of the rebuild year. So we had to win a double. This season, they're fine with top four. Wicked delivery by Diaz, but headed away. Um, but yeah, they, they said this year, just the FA Cup and a final in the Champions League and a top four in the Premier League place would do us fine. But I, I want at least two of the three major honours available between now and the end of the season. Don't mind which ones, but I do want a double. There's Tammy, steps inside, shoots and Allison makes the save and gets it away. I do apologize to the drilling guys, honestly. I know this has been going on for a long time and it's gonna go on indefinitely, unfortunately. I'm really sorry about this, honestly. Trent to Gray, we get one last chance to win it. Uh, out wide, out wide, out wide. McKenzie, just whip it, far post, good delivery. He's a, oh! What a goal! Never mind the drilling you can hear. Everett has just drilled it in bottom corner. What a goal! I just thought it was just hanging up towards the back post. Someone might make a run. It might be clear behind for a corner. We'll take a late chance from a dead ball situation, but no, goes all the way to Everett. Oh my goodness! That is one of the best goals I've scored in this year's FC. That is incredible. Last minute, because of the situation where last minute, deadlocked, whipped to the far post, and Everett does that. What a goal. Never mind Mac Allister's strike against Sheffield United on Thursday night. That's, uh, that's up there is just as impressive in terms of technique. Eberechi is a eh? goodness gracious. I'd like to say that was a great, great bit of tactical masterclass. It really was. not It was just hoofed into the middle, hoping for the best. And Eberechi said, hold my beer. What a finish. Liverpool stayed top. Huge win now. I'm not normally one to watch replays. You can see he's exhausted there in the dressing room. I don't blame him. But for this one, look at this late run to the far post. Sees his man not currently marking. And just, oh my, the technique on that is incredible. Because you know, he's going across the body of Vicario. That's the thing. It's not like it's going towards the near post. He's literally got to hit it, get enough power on it, and get the angle right. With a man coming across too, that is that is unbelievable. That right there is, uh, is one of the great Premier League acrobatic goals that is. Okay, I mean, there's, there's, been, there's been a few of them. There's been a few of them. You've got you've got your Ronaldo, uh, sorry, your Rooney's against Manchester City, your Ganachos versus Everton. If you want to go scissor kick esque, you can go De Canio against uh, I can't remember. Sorry, West Ham fans, but that is uh, oh, that is incredible. That no wonder Alex Scott is giving him the uh, the chance to explain, talk through that goal. That's incredible. That Arsenal did get a win, but I think that 
forgive me. I think that Man City are playing tomorrow. So we'll do one quick advance in the calendar and we shall see if we've gone further clear at the top or if it remains at four. Yes, we have indeed. We've gone six clear. Or did Chelsea ever get? When's Chelsea's game and ad? Oh, it's because the Carabao Cup. Who won the Carabao Cup? Did Chelsea win it? They, oh, wow. 5 4. Nine goal final. Manchester United coming out, and Harry Kane has got that winner's medal. Right, following game, Colchester United away, League 2 side in Essex. Should, I mean should, be a banker. I've got a couple of stars out there, but for the most part, I chance my starters to rest tonight ahead of another big Premier League game on the weekend. Let's get through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup with minimal fuss tonight. Come on, Liverpool. Colchester United Stadium is a, uh, I think it's a new build. I think it was built in like the last 10, 15 years. Um... And I've always wished at EA, for the generic stadiums they have, that there's some really good ones to be fair, but I've always wished they would have like generic new build stadiums that don't have corners as well. Because Colchester's doesn't, I don't think. Uh, but they're, they're, the ground they're playing at for this game is like a, an outdated kind of cornerless stadium, if you will. It would be nice if they built a new build one. With, uh, without corners as well. Anyway, fast start, looking for that opening goal. And don't forget, from the last 16 onwards, there are no replays. So if we don't win this in normal time, it will go straight to extra time and then possibly pens as well. There's Gakpo. Oh, that could have gone anywhere. And it's Liverpool right now keeping the U's absolutely penned in their own area. That opening goal is coming. It's only a matter of time. And there it is, Eunice Moose. I, I just felt from that passenger play we were going to get the goal. I just felt if we stayed in attack mode, we would get it. It's a cracking strike from Eunice Moose, but it was coming. Liverpool lead early. I have to say, this has been a pretty awful game. But in cup football, it doesn't matter the scoreline so long as you win. And Eunice is going to bag his brace and wrap us through. There we go. Eunice Moose's brace ensures we are heading into the quarterfinals. Felt confident, took most of my starters off of the break. Job done, courtesy of Eunice's double. Man, I absolutely love Moose, honestly. He's class. Honestly, I can play him right back, I can play him CM, CDM. Um, I think I probably subbed him on at wing at one point. He's so good. But directly afterwards, all the ties, so the last 16, all the ties get played on either the Tuesday to Wednesday. Oh, look at that. Forest Green Rovers almost took Chelsea all the way there. And uh, there are still, there's still one football league side remaining. Oh, two, Sunderland knocked out Leeds. Uh, three, actually, the Borough knocked out Leicester. So there's three football league sides remaining heading into the last days. There's a good chance we'll be taking one of them on in the quarterfinals. And it will be, fingers crossed, please not Chelsea. Oh, Merseyside Derby, class. So, all, no, there isn't all the FL side. No, it's not. Sunderland taking Crystal Palace. Sorry, sorry. Uh, forgot Crystal Palace got promoted last year. So, it's... Uh, yeah, uh, all, all the Premier League sides, but from us and Everton facing the EFL side, we face each other. Merseyside Derby in the quarterfinal. Moving on, next up, Crystal Palace away at Selhurst Park, heading into the game. Chance to go further clear at the top with Curtis Jones returning for the first time since a three-month injury. Big bonus having him back. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, I think this has been the most injury-hit season I've had in this year's FC, I would say. Um, but again, it's it's good, you know, and I, I know I have mentioned this before, but like when I do get asked, you know, Doxy boy, how do you keep your career modes going so long? Like, how do you how do you stay immersed in them? How do you keep them so enjoyable? I, I know it seems kind of detrimental, you know, to, to have more injuries, but it is a good thing. Believe me, it, it's frustrating. Yes, but it makes the game much more fun. As Jones are oh, almost a dream return. His first touch almost resulted in a goal after a three-month layoff. What a welcome back that would have been. But yeah, trust me, guys. I know it can be frustrating when you've got only a, your key players who's in fine form going down with a big injury. Like we saw in the last episode with Jack Clark, or we saw again three months ago with Curtis Jones. And right now, you see there, Everett Gize go down as well. I know it's so frustrating, but believe me, it makes it so much more immersive, challenging, and also enjoyable as well. Boobs into Curtis, lovely turn. Better ball. Oh, surely this time. Eberechi. Yes, come on. You knew he was going to score. 
Injure him or not, it doesn't matter, man. When a player plays against his former club, how many times do I say it, man? Like, it just... It, I know there's nothing coded into the game, but there's something psychological. I can't really explain it, but you know they're always going to get a gold or assist or just a man of the match worthy display. Everett Gize carrying a knock, doesn't matter to him, still gets the opening goal. Such a tremendous player, but also a tremendously resilient man as well. You should listen to him talk about his early years. He was on the books of several London clubs, including my team, Millwall, and we let him go. I know what you're thinking. Why? Well, we weren't the only team that uh, to let him go as a youngster, yet he still managed to carve out what has been an incredibly successful career for himself. And if you if you want a lesson in resilience, look at Eberechi's early beginnings as Cody Gakpo drills in the second and Liverpool are going to extend the winning run. Tune it up, 29 minutes in, and we stay at the top of the table with a big win in South London. Yeah, you'd be surprised to learn just how many decent players have been on the books with Millwall as a youngster, if not making it through the academy. Being snapped up, like Adozi, for example, or uh, in the case of Ize, unfortunately being released. Yeah, we've we got, we got decent youth recruitment, man. Great youth coaching as well. Larry McAvoy's been in charge of our under-18s for a while now. Uh, we actually got to the Youth Cup semis this year as well, a few days ago, knocked out by Leeds, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, we've, we've always had a pretty decent, um, what you call, youth setup, if you will. One of the perks of uh, supporting Millwall is just how good our, uh, again, youth recruitment is. As Luis Diaz almost made it free. Good stop by Sam Johnston. Yeah, still leading by two. We've got the second leg against Sociedad in the week. I will start a couple of players for it, up by three, but... Yeah, right now we are we are absolutely flying high. And that treble, I said we we're hunting it today. It's certainly looking within our sights at this rate. Yeah, it's always quite sad when a, uh, a big club comes calling for one of your team's best youth prospects. I remember when Indosi was, was poached by Manchester City. Uh, so now he's moved on to Southampton. But it's like, it's gutting when it happens. But nowadays in modern day football, it, it's kind of, it's just unavoidable. Do you know what I mean? Because the big clubs, the, the, the scope and the scale of their recruitment teams is unbelievable. Never mind regional. Nationwide now, you know, as McKenzie goes down and Curtis Jones bends one and scores to, to make it free. But second injury of the game for us. First he's A and now McKenzie. Now that is worrying. So job done. 3-0 victory for Liverpool. And as we're about to walk off the field, I am slightly concerned. It's one of those moments where I don't really want to go back to the main menu because I know what's going to wait for. Oh, go on, Burnley. Massive point there taking two off, uh, two off Arsenal. Um, I, I think that's going to be two three-month injuries there. I think that's going to be two more three-month injuries. Aze's is five days and Kenzie's is three months. Ben done for this season, just like Jack Clark. Uh, I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm gonna uh, downgrade the severity back to 53 as well. It, like I said before, I have no issue with the uh, with the length of injuries. I have no issue with the amount of injuries. It's just it needs more variety. We've had I think six broken toes this year. Fortunately, Robertson is coming back from injury, but even so, man, we have been injury plagued, and I should say broken toe plagued this year. Right, following game, second leg in the Champions League, last 16 at home to Real Sociedad. Got a couple of stars out there, but leading 3-0, I think we should be going through to the last day. Let's do a minimal fuss. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, I don't have an issue with the amount of injuries at all. I like it. This is this is a good challenge, man. I'm enjoying it, hence why we to... You know, go go deep into our roster, use players like Bobby Clark and, you know, obviously Cade Gordon and Ben Doke getting quite a bit of game time on the wings as well. But it's just it's just the, the same injury over and over and over again. Like if it was like, you know, a two month injury and I don't know, like a severe sprain or something. I don't know. Just something that is just different, you know, when it's the same injury over and over again, it does kind of break away from the immersion a little bit as Alisson makes a good save there. So, yeah, in summation, I like getting injuries. It's, it's realistic and it's good to add to the challenge, but EA, please just vary them up a little bit. Add a few more to the game if you can. As Cody Gakpo fires in the opener. Could have got a goal down, instead go a goal up, and that's going to do it. 14 minutes in, we're leading by four. Book your ticket or into the quarterfinals. Yeah, didn't really think we were in much danger going out tonight, but after the early Cody Gakpo goal, we just sort of controlled the game from there. 1-0 on the night, 4-0 over two legs. I felt confident with the tie was strong, with all due respect to Real Sociedad. Job done, routinely. Put us in the quarters. Right, next up, first of the two Merseyside derbies. First one coming into Premier League, and the chance to go further clear at the top of the table in great form right now. Let's get this winning run going. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, this is an awesome little winning run from Liverpool. 
in, in all three competitions. And despite the injuries, we're out. We're unfazed by them. And here's Musa. And oh, what a save. And oh, why didn't I just let them all run out for a corner? Doxy, would you really think you're going to score from there? That like, honestly, that's just silly. Put behind for a simple goal kick. I'm surprised that Doki managed to hit the post from that angle, but even so, that's just poor for me. Let it run out for a simple corner, man. Anyway, still no-no, but uh, yeah, Moose, Moose, you might have seen there. I've got starting a left back in this game. I love him. I love him. There is something about players where their best asset is their versatility. Moose, man, full back, right back, left back, CDM, CDM, left wing, right wing. You can play this guy anywhere. He's absolutely class in a variety of positions. And he's just found Diaz as well. And Gakpo is denied. As it's still no-no. It's, it's all over in the early stages, man. We've got a bit between our teeth right now. We're in kill mode. As Trent finds Curtis. That opening goal's coming. Doak. Someone get on the end of this. There we go. It was coming. It was coming. Just need to stay in attack mode. And I often say this, but when you've got a team on the ropes, when you've flown out of the blocks, when you've got your opposition penned in their own half, don't let them out. Like, don't let them out. If you've got them on the ropes, if you've got them in the corner, keep on punching, keep on attacking. Eventually, you're going to get that breakthrough. Not before long. We've done that. Third time's the charm. Luis Diaz with the opener. Free kick Everton right before the break. James Garner placing it down. And he's put a man on the, uh, on the line here. He's pretty decent from dead ball situations. I trust him to go for this, or he's going to run over. He runs over it. Cliver, he will lay it off. There we go. Read that well. And oh, Kanati still had to get off the line. But Lewis O'Brien turns in a rebound. That is one of those moments where it's like, I couldn't really have done much more there. Do you know what I mean? I, I called the bluff from the free kick. I felt as though it was going to be laid off. I charged out. Kanati gets a chest on the ball, but I still couldn't head away the rebound. One of those moments where you just don't get the rub of the green. Still, we've had quite, to be fair, we have had quite a bit of luck at times throughout the course of the past two or three years. And I guess I can't complain too much. Can we find a winner in this game? As Cody slides Curtis down the right. Uh, someone come to me, please. That'll do. Cody's on side there. In the middle. Oh, I took it on way too early with his day. I had plenty of time to set myself and then take it a step or two inside and just shot first time. Poor from me. As Carl Will is denied. And turn behind for another corner. One of those moments where the adrenaline just gets the better of you, you know. It's all Liverpool right now. Fans cheering on trying to find that goal to win this Merseyside derby. But looks as though it's going to be two points dropped heading into that FA Cup quarter final against them as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't believe it. Lost it. Rodrigo. With the finish, Everton 2 1. I can't believe we're going to lose this game, man. Which one, one of those games where I don't think I could have done much better. That's just how it goes, man. And this is going to be a massive slip up. We had such a. St hang on, hang on, hang on. Cody, run to the ball. Oh, well, thankfully, Wolves are 3 2 up at the Etihad. But what, what a missed opportunity this is going to be, man. We could have gone 9 clear. Instead, I guess I've got to be thankful it will remain at six. But no matter how you look at it, it's still a bottle here. And my first Merseyside derby defeat since joining Liverpool as well. We won them all apart from the first which we drew. But this is my first loss. Missed opportunity. Could have gone nine clear. Instead, the gap remains at six. Absolutely blew that one, man. I do not know how I failed to get anything from that. Yeah, it did indeed finish 3-2 as well at the Etihad. And Arsenal lost two. So all, all the title... Contenders slipping out. Apart from Chelsea, how did Chelsea get on? They've still got a game in hand because they're running the Carabao Cup. Um, oh, okay. They've now cut the gap to four. And they've got the game in hand as well. Missed opportunity and then some there. Uh, Arsenal is still in it. I'm not ruling out the Gunners. Can't even rule out Newcastle, really. But uh, what a missed opportunity. That is bottled that. Uh, we just had the draw as well for the Champions League quarter final where in the last day Liverpool are going to be taking on please not Real Madrid please not Real Madrid or Man City oh Kanan. the most successful team in Champions League history first look at the Bernabeu 
That is the toughest team we could have faced. We certainly can't afford to blow this Merseyside derby. Yep, second in a row at Anfield this time in the FA Cup as we take on one of the quarterfinals, aim to avenge our demons here and make the final four for the second year in a row. Come on, Liverpool. Obviously, last season we uh, we absolutely bottled it in the uh, the FA Cup semis and the Carabao Cup semis. We lost them both on penalties, and we uh, we can't afford to have that happen again if we're to keep the board happy. Again, the Carabao Cup doesn't count towards the objective, so not not a great deal going in that one in the last 16 early this year. But this would this would not be good enough for the board. Man, great ball gap by DS take time. Oh my goodness gracious me! Pretty bad miss, that isn't it? Come on, man. I'm starting to feel the tide turning. We've been in great form recently. Amazing winning run. I'm starting to feel that the tide might be about to turn. Someone's going to step up out there and provide some irrigation support. I don't know what that means, as rest as is deny denying Diaz. And Liverpool off to a flying start, but still deadlocked at 0 0. Get that early goal, and that'll settle some nerves. Gagpo heads! Just off target. Jones to Musa. He's A. Oh, no, I didn't mean to chaff a fight. Come on, you silly boy, Doxy. I didn't mean to chip that. Oh, my God. I'm starting to get frustrated. Mr. Ronaldo. Regen is out of muscle by Cornato. Did well to hold, up, hold him off there. Um, and Jones says, Cody, off you go. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, guys. Just let me concentrate here, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. It's 1 0 Liverpool. Come on! Not going out today. Not having back to back losses. We're making when we. That's chance. No. 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 Yes, Levi, you are an absolute bro. Oh, no. What is that, Harrison? Well, uh, do you remember, uh, I think it was season two, uh, we, 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 we had three own goals like that in the same season. What did I say during that year? Lack all balance itself out. What goes around comes around. But Alison, you nonce, what are you doing? You just stand there and just hoof it. Let's go on penalties when we're going to go out. I can already tell. I can already tell. What the... Come on. I mean, you could say why pass it back there, but, you know, at the end of the day, Alisson's footwork is phenomenal. He should not be making an error like that. And Salah off the bench. Oh, what? hang on, hang on. Oh, you twat, Renault Lodi. Excuse me, sorry. Um, oh, for Give me that ball, Justin. He's just done a Sol Campbell-esque fly tackle right. Salah. Ball. Trent! Come on! Liverpool lead the derby! I think that was actually Trent's... Hey, poor pass that. First goal since returning as well. Not a bad time to get it there. Salah, go to the corner. Go to the corner. Go to the corner. And then back inside. And then again. Thank you very much and good night, Mr. Dyche. Did it the hard way, but did it regardless. Liverpool are heading to Wembley. I mean, it just goes to show you that, like, even, even the best goalkeepers aren't immune to making mistakes. Alisson has had a couple of errors during his tenure at Liverpool in real life. And I often say this, I don't actually mind it too much, at least not in offline gameplay, because mistakes are part of the game. Like, do you know what I mean? Mistakes are part of the game. When a goalkeeper makes an error, nine times out of ten at least to a goal due to position on the pitch. So I don't actually mind it that much. But when it's a moment like that... And it almost cost me a place in the final four. Obviously, I am going to get a little bit frustrated. But let's be totally honest here. Mr. Alison Becker, you've saved me a lot more times than you've cost me. So, all's forgiven, bro. No need to even apologise. I apologise for calling you a nonce. <laughs> Lost my temper a little bit now. Oh, but we're through. And in the final four, we will be taking on in the FA Cup semi-final. With Liverpool chasing that treble. 
I knew it. We knew it. Everyone knew it. Manchester City in the final four as Crystal Palace will take on Chelsea. Mr. Guardiola, I'll see you at Wembley. And just before our final game today, I think we're just squeezing one more against Leeds. Uh, Gakpo, didn't notice this, but he's just hit 90 overall. So now officially one of the world's best Ballon d'Or winner, as we know. And to be fair, like I, I, I said, I don't think he really justified the Ballon d'Or, but his stats have still been incredible. Going for his second straight Player of the Year award, just as worthy in terms of creating his year's scoring and still getting better and better in the prime at 28 years old now as well. Absolutely brilliant. Right, let's do one more then. Uh, final game it is indeed Leeds at home. Heading into the game, Chelsea have cut the gap on us to just one point as we enter the final few games of the season. And we might need to win this one here in order to close today's episode off still top of the table. Let's return to any, way, uh, return to any ways in the Premier League and get a big three points here. Come on, Liverpool. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, it's just too easy. Just allow the little step inside, and you can't do that, man. You can't do that against the AI and Ultimate, because you know they're going to finish. If they've got that room there, they're always going to bend it home. I have to say, I'm bottling this. I am bottling this Premier League lead. Could have gone several clear, and instead we're going to end today's episode off in second. I'm absolutely blowing this, man. But that's the thing, man. If you want to compete for a treble, you want to keep compete for major honours, you need the depth. I'd often say this sometimes. You ain't got the quality, the depth, or the experience. You might have to say, one got to go. Sacrifice one competition to try and win the other two. At the moment, that's looking very likely. Yep, a goal. Oh, yeah. huh? oh no, he's, he's not very quick. It, well, he's got good footwork, though. Oh, he's got a mate. Oh, well. Well, that's just amazing. Uh, yes, he doesn't have the blistering pace, but his footwork is unbelievable. Wonderful with dribbling, great offload, and Cody with another. It's 1 1. I think to end today's episode off, what I might do is take him off that CB development plan we had him on, just to, just to get his defensive stats up higher. Now I'd say they're high enough, and then put him on the CM, start the uh, transition now. Oh, well done, Gakpo. Just looking for space. Brilliant. Oh, what a save. Mark Travers, ex Cherry, and still. We're down. Oh, no, we're not. Do you trademark salute, Eberechi? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, he, he doesn't have the blistering pace to play on the wing. So if that's the case, pull out the other tricks in your arsenal. First the footwork, then the finish. Travailer, bottom corner, not top. But Liverpool come from behind to lead. Not for the first time this season, man. Showing off the resilience. Up by a goal. Stay in top. Final chance for Leeds to take two points off us and gain one themselves. Just seeing the top right there, Chelsea have gone 2 0 up, so need to hold on to stay top of the table. Yeah, I'm sorry, Alisson. I'm sorry for criticising you in that last game, man. You have won me so many more games than you've lost me oh, in this brief period of time. And there's another, oh, there's another injury, and it's Robertson. He's just come back. He's literally just come back. Players have been oh, dropping like flies. What was that this season? But fortunately, he might go down, but we won't go down a second. Another injury. This is unbelievable. I said about the injury slide, and I was like, oh, you yeah, yeah, go up, go no slide. You go put no slide. It's up. Makes the game much more challenging and much more enjoyable. It doesn't make that much of a difference. No. No, Doxy Boy. You're a moron. Eberechi is not there. What a brace. What a winner. What a huge victory. What a way to close today's episode off. Still top of the table and heading to Wembley as well. And thankfully for Robertson, as you'll see, it was just a bruised shoulder, so not another dreaded broken toe and long-term injury. Bit of good news to end today's episode off. But that will do it for today's episode, guys. So massive thank you for watching. Really hope you have enjoyed today's dramatic and tense episode. If you have, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you for the next episode where we'll play a few more games in the Premier League. One point clear at Chelsea with nine to go in the Premier League. We'll have the FA Cup semi against Manchester City, and of course, both legs of the Champions League quarterfinal against Real first away at the Bernabeu and then at home as you guys pull off the upset make it to the final four and keep our treble dreams alive have a great day guys much love and don't miss the next episode which I'll see you for very soon